I have four of these cards that I've had over the last two, three years. And they don't quite hold up long enough for all the weight that they're carrying with bales of hay and goats. In fact, this one handle broke off and some of the staff decided they were going to lash it up there with a, some tie string off some bales of hay. So I'm replacing this guy with this bigger, heavier one, heavier duty one. Roughly about the same size as four by by two, a little bit, just a couple of inches more than that on the length and width. A little bit beefier handle on the toe handle. And I don't use it with the sides up. I use it like this, where it's flat. So we'll put this together. It's called a Gorilla Carts. Steel utility card, heavy duty. I hope it's more heavier duty than my green ones. We'll see. Okay, let's lift this up. Take a look. I can see two of the tires. Side rails, the main frame, and the instruction booklet. Let's take it out of the box, see if I've got all the parts. Take a look at these tires here. The size 400 6. It's two ply. It's a nylon tube type. Not for highway. And this maximum load is 300 pounds at 30 psi. Made in China. What I'm interested in is this offset. Let's see what that offset is. Okay, now we're going to measure the offset of this hub. It's two and and three eighths. What I'm going to do? I'm going to stick this this hub I'm going to hook it right here and hold it with my finger and then we're going to look at it's two and three eighths inches and the offset is probably uh, maybe an inch and an eighth and the the axle diameter is at five eighths I think five eighths or three quarters. Let me see here. Maybe three quarters. So there's the wheel. Now what's interesting is the replacement wheel <clears throat> that I saw at Amazon. That's where I got this through at Amazon. Is a solid rubber uh, wheel and they call it a flat free so there's no pneumatics about it as as far as pushing in uh, in air to it so you don't fill it up with air I think these are 13s let's see that's about yeah 13 
Well, these are 13 inch this way and across here it's probably the uh, four inch yeah four inches wide 13 inch diameter they are pneumatic there's the valve stem and the offset is right here This is a Gorilla Cart model GOR1201B as a boy. And there's all the major pieces. This is what I need to look for right down here. These nuts and bolts washers. And that's the back of it. So this is saying seven steps. There's the hardware. That's what I need to verify next. Tools required. And then the assembly instructions. It's not all that difficult to put together. I'm not going to use these rails, so that'll save me some time. Okay. I will use the handle though. That's a good thing. And for questions, problems, or missing parts, I'm going to hang on to that because on other carts like this, I've always missed hardware. Let me go check the hardware. Oh, that's looking good for the parts. There's four washers in there. Washers there. Two of these type. This big one. It's got a washer underneath it. And there's two more washers here. I'm not sure what that is. And then Carter keys, Carter pins, four of them. And these carriage bolts, there's two. Okay, that's a good thing. Yeah, it looks like we got all the pieces. is sturdy looking for sure heavy duty that's what we want
Now it's time for the wheels. Two won't be long now, and it'll be all ready for service. Now, the most important thing now is to verify the air pressure in these tires. I take off the valve cap, got my digital meter out. Seven point five should be thirty. So I need to put air in these. And it's always a good idea to check these air pressure after you've done done the assembly. So I'm gonna put the other wheels on the other side, fire up the air compressor, and verify that I have thirty pounds of pressure in these tires before I release it back to the ranch. Let's put another wheel on. And a washer. Carter pin. In the old days we call that Carter key. I need a pair of long nose pliers. I'm only going to bend one of these the longest leg. And I don't have to go very far, 90 degrees. And that's how you put a wheel on. Here's the last wheel. Washer. And there's a hole through this axle that we're going to put the quarter P through, quarter pin. You know, one side's short, one side's long. I'm only going to bend the long one down about 90 degrees through the hole first. There we go. Now I'm gonna use long nose pliers and I'm gonna grab the long section of the quarter pin or key, depending on how old you are, and I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees. There we go. And it's all ready. Okay, now we're going to do the last thing is the quality check. Recheck, make sure there's no loose or missing hardware, bolts, nuts, washers missing. The pull handle has been installed. I'm not going to put the, the fence grate up. Don't use it anyway when you stack hay on top of these things. <laughs> And the most important thing, verify the air pressure. It should be 30 pounds of air pressure maximum in these pneumatic tires. These are 13 inches in diameter and four inches width. And they're two plies. So let's... Uh, Let's check and see what this one is. The first one I looked at had seven and a half pounds in it. Not good. 
Okay, I got a digital gauge here. Set it for PSI. It's called an AccuBright. I don't know if you can see that or not. So let's go ahead. 8.5 pounds. Way under. Okay, I got the compressor that's pumped and ready to go. This is started with nine pounds. And I like to run them with around 32. Should be close. Let's see. 33 and a half. 32. Okay, so we've done our quality check in our assembly, checked our air pressure. See you on the next one. I'll take a look at some of the other uh, videos on, on carts, like the green carts. I'll have links for them either below or in, this, uh, in the end of this video to the other carts. They lasted pretty good, but about a year is maximum, and then they just, uh, you can see the one with a, the green one with a wooden stick for a handle. And here's the finished product. This big boy can sit on it and it doesn't fall apart. It must be a good one. Okay. See you on the next. This big boy can sit on it and it doesn't fall apart. Must be a good one. Okay. See you on the next.